नमस्कार आचार्य जी नमस्ते माय नेम इज राशि गोयल सेकंड ईयर अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी एंड जियोफिजिक्स एट आईआईटी खरगपुर सो माय क्वेश्चन टू यू इज व्हेन वी एज एन आईटीएन वी हैड टू पास थ्रू अ फेज वेयर वी हैव टू बी अवे फ्रॉम बीइंग सोशलाइजिंग to in order to succeed in order to clear our j advance we need to be more focused towards our studies but as soon as we enter college we had a scenario in which we need to be a social person we need friends we need people to communicate or express our thoughts but due to being a loner from a long time it puts a lot of stress to adapt the that habit of being a social person again so that affects our mental health so how to overcome this habit of not expressing oneself so rashi what you're saying is when you were preparing for the je huh? at that time you didn't really socialize mm, you kept studying and now when you have like, entered ah huh, yes like uh, when during the je times what actually happens is uh, we we avoid attending marriage and parties mm. we avoid uh, talking like we spend most of the time studying mm. like when we wake up we study we go to coaching class we do have some exams or tests and then we came our home we we study again then we sleep this is what our schedule is but as soon as we enter college we tend to have other things to do like we need to make friends we need to have someone to listen to our problems now didn't you have problems when you were preparing for the je what happened then who did you go to speak to like generally we used to go to our teachers like we don't we uh, because it was a competitive environment so we used to feel like to talk to a teacher is the best thing but right now we talk mostly to first towards with our friends and then we go to a teacher if it's a major issue okay let me ask you something how driven and focused did you feel at the time of je preparation now that you have cleared the je uh, you are in a good position to say how driven were you uh like i mentioned i was like completely into completely studies. into studies right yeah and now after entering iit like i am now bit relaxed that i had at least which semester now. which semester are you from rashi i uh, right now i am in my second year uh, i will be having my fourth semester from january if it's not very personal may i ask your cgpa uh, yeah it's right now it's near about 8.5 hmm. and 8.5 means what dr uh, Five, ten, fifteen. Sir, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You'd have been very sure of your percentile and rank when you were preparing for the JE, right? What do they call it in IIT Khadakpur? They don't call it DR, Departmental Rank. What is it called there? They call it DR. You call it DR, right? So the tradition continues. See, the thing is, you had a purpose then. so you didn't need to socialize and that purpose is bigger than the company of any of these friends and all hmm now you are in iit and there are so many other things to do we all know of them so you are saying oh my god i just kept studying i didn't develop my so called soft skills i'm not very good at communication you know i must talk a lot i must be attractive to others i must get the best company possible and by best what we mean is the most glamorous what do you mean by social skills you're a human being right you're a human being okay. if if somebody is worth it there would be a relationship what do you mean by social skills what do you uh, it's just the absence of a purpose now give yourself a purpose you do not need to be great at socializing 
let the purpose decide the kind of company you are to get and if you have a great purpose you will get just the right company what happens is once you enter iit placement is almost guaranteed hmm? so that uh, bogey is off your mind you don't have to clear the je once again hmm? and because everybody gets uh, into a relaxed mode once you enter the campus therefore uh, even with uh, very modest kind of effort you can have a decent cgpa and a decent rank right that's been happening since ages that's been happening across all iits so you will have to agree to what i'm saying hmm? yes what you lack now is the same fire that you had at the time of je preparation at that time it was like i have to get in and if i do not get in i am losing on something very very important in contrast right now your statement is i already have what is important therefore let me get into other things uh, that offer pleasure and fun and excitement and the uh, rest of it no you have not attained anything yet let that be very clear to you clearing the j is nothing clearing the j at best guarantees you bread and butter and an upper middle class kind of life doesn't mean much there is a long distance to cover and especially as a woman in indian conditions you have to keep sprinting you cannot reduce your pace you cannot let your guard down you cannot start seeking company and socialization and relationships because all of this ultimately leads to that one thing that we can call as the final bondage why do you want to go towards that be a scholar rather than the sensation on the campus but that's what we want to be called right mr campus or miss campus rather than the best scholar out there and if you have to do something apart from your studies there are so many co curriculars to choose from i'm sure kgp campus offers at least 10 different kinds of sports and great infrastructure debating dramatics hmm? that's one good thing about uh, being in an iit campus hmm? you get exposure to so many things that are usually not available to the common student excel in them socialization etc carry next to zero value and as i said if what you are doing carries value and importance socialization the right kind of socialization will happen on its own you will get the right kind of company be totally devoted to your work and to your purpose and some person or a group of persons cannot be the purpose in your life i say that to everybody and when i am addressing a girl i say that with heightened emphasis forget all this please i have seen what now an entire generation of iitians pass through in front of my eyes do not uh, get into that same old kind of trap it firstly leads to mediocrity and then it leads to bondages learn to excel keep the fire burning hmm? if you are in iit i am pretty sure your 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 rank would have been in the top 1 percentile obviously it has to be top 1 percentile or 1.5 or 0.5 whatever so that benchmark has to be maintained tell me since the last 2 years what is it 
that you belong to the top one percentile of J was the last thing you excelled at, right? Tell me what is it that you have added to your kitty post the J? Are you one percent top one percent in swimming, one percent in debating, in dramatics, in tennis? In what? Nothing. And that which you are seeking now will push you, I said, deeper into mediocrity. Do you want to be among those students of your class who used to obtain 50, 60, 70 percent or 75, 80 percent and were satisfied with that? Do you want to be counted among them, please? Mm, no, sir. Yes. So, maintain the J like spirit throughout your life. You have to excel. Relationships and such thing, let, let the mediocre ones count them as their priority. Read, read a lot. You would have poured into the books and burned the midnight oil. And since entering the campus, how much have you really read? And even if you have read, I am sure it mostly belongs to the technical genre, right? Yes, sir. And the entire world's literature is waiting for you. When will you read that? When will you read that? And if you do not read that, don't you see you will be missing out on so much? Hmm? What can the company of uh, a common second or third year student give you? Don't you want to learn from the great philosophers, the great writers? Don't you want to be with them? But you see, it's the body. We want a living being. The warmth of another living body. That's what this body craves for. So even if you must have that. Then let that be secondary to your purpose, goal and work. Hmm? Choose the company of those who assist in your work. Choose the company of those who are aligned with your work. Persons must be way down in your priority. Remember who you are. You are someone who must excel. You are someone who must know, learn, realize and ultimately be liberated. And this fact of central identity of yours must govern all your life decisions. Acharya ji, uh, uh, as you said that uh, we have to, you know, explore more on uh, other fronts. I went through one of your videos wherein you mentioned that uh, the two years of our IIM achievement is you did not let the system get inside your head. How did you go about doing that? Because uh, as you shared uh, right now, as you answered Rashi's question. Uh, you mentioned that we have to keep the fire burning. We have to move forward in our 20s and the rest of our life. Uh, you know, we just we should just keep learning. But the core uh, idea or the core basis that we've got is the capitalistic basis, that everything has to have a capitalistic purpose and not just out of curiosity. Very well how said. Yes. About, how, Very well how said. How do you go about... See, most people excel... About, yes, how, most people excel... Only when that excellence leads to um, capital gains, only when that excellence uh, leads to monetary benefits, you are right. And that's why so many people stop studying the moment they enter an IIT or an IIM hmm? or, or they 
at least are not um, at their best. That is because you know it's not studies fundamentally or books fundamentally or knowledge fundamentally that attracted them. What attracted them was the prospect of plum placements. So the moment that placement is assured or obtained, the fire dies down. No, that should not be there. Remain the same person throughout your life. The same person that had not yet cleared the J, but was rearing to clear the J. The same person who was sprinting and putting in 10, 12, 16 hours a day. That you cannot do if you are studying for the sake of money, because money will come. And once money comes, then you will be easily satisfied. Therefore, you must have a very, very high purpose in life. The kind of purpose that can never actually be fully attained. If it can never be fully attained, you will be working towards it all your life without ever having a final satisfaction that you have arrived. That this satisfaction is extremely important. What is that final purpose I am referring to? It is called realization or liberation. It is called annihilation of the ego. Now, annihilation of the ego just cannot happen directly. It has to happen through your life work. You have to choose your work in a way that it keeps diminishing your ego. And because the ego can never be fully, absolutely diminished, reduced to zero, therefore you will have to keep the fire burning throughout your life. That's the method. Choose such a mammoth goal that you always have to be on your toes, that you never fall complacent, that you can never give yourself the liberty to say, now I am done and I can retire. Getting it. This this must be sounding a bit different from the usual things you hear. Uh, I understand that, but we are trying to keep it as lucid as possible. Keep coming, keep coming. So, uh, you said that we have to uh, take up a goal that we may never achieve. Yes. Isn't that something which uh, you know? If we are not here for, uh, if we are not there to see our life's work, how will that you know keep the fire burning? Because ultimately we are uh, we are a species that looks towards feedbacks. Hmm. That's what your body does, and that's why I said it's important to not to listen too much to your body. The body wants attainable goals. The consciousness is in need of a goal that is extremely worthy, extremely lovable, even though unattainable. unattainable. Consciousness has a deep need. Huh? Therefore, this is where love comes in. You must fall in love with what you do. More accurately, you must do something worth falling in love with. Getting it? The final, the final goal is within. The final goal is annihilation of the darkness and bondage within. But because it is within, it cannot happen directly, we said. So you have to choose a series of projects so challenging that they keep resulting in your betterment. Hmm? Externally, obviously, you cannot just choose a project that will never be finished. So, external projects, they will keep coming and going. And may you be successful at all the external challenges you pick up. But once a challenge is overcome, pick the next one. And what would be the next one? It would be decided by the previous one that you have just overcome. Hmm? So may you have a great series of successes in the external world 
and all those successes lead to your final victory within. What is that final victory within? You must be just preparing to ask your next question, sir, but you said that the internal goal can never be fully achieved. The internal victory is about continuously having worked in the right direction, in the inward direction. If you can manage to do that your entire life, you are a winner. And the direction is towards liberation of consciousness. Towards liberation of consciousness. Being, being hell-bent. I want to see what all remains as a bondage in my life. I want to identify my hidden masters one after the other and keep negating them continuously. And there are just so many of them. There are just so many of them because internally there sits someone who is very prepared to be a slave. Because here somebody is prepared to be a slave. So, masters come in great abundance. I'll keep negating all those masters. I'll keep negating the slavery within. I'll keep reducing my tendency to be dependent, to be, to be lazy, to be hungry, to be afraid, to be greedy. I'll keep identifying where my weaknesses lie. I'll keep challenging, overcoming them. That's the great purpose one must have in life. Yes. Uh, Acharya ji, I have a follow-up question. Uh, our great purpose is liberation. Yes. But how do we choose our own path? Or we can say, how to not be influenced by our surrounding, the bonds, our relationship with others, not just family, friends, our, the society we live in, our surround, like the surrounding. How to identify who I am without getting influenced by others, external factors. No, no. When you say you want to identify who you are, if you are honest, you will realize you are the one who is already influenced by everybody. Influenced yeah. by everybody and driven by the body. Right? So, enslaved doubly. Driven by the body and influenced by all and sundry. That is who we are. So, identifying who we are is not very difficult. We, we are social creatures, we are physical creatures and being either of them is no good at all. That is what. Now, you said how do we identify the right work? You have to start from where you are. Your goal is liberation, but you are where you are. And whatever the destination might be, the first step has to be taken from your current location. Knowing your current location honestly, accurately is very important. Do not keep yourself in delusion and there will be a tendency to self-delude because it hurts to know where you really are. We might think that we are in an amusement park, hmm, enjoying ourselves and when you want to be a bit honest for a change, you realize you are in a prison cell. So, knowing where you really are is the first thing and a very difficult thing, not because it is difficult to know where you are, but because it is difficult to acknowledge where you are. It hurts. So, acknowledge where you are you will see how badly enslaved you might be and then immediately you will know what to do. That is your work. If I know I am, I am sitting on this sofa and, and my leg has been chained to the leg of the sofa, do not I know what to do? So, my situation decides my immediate work and the situation is invariably of bondage. We all are in bondage.
so that right that answers my question very rightly mm-hmm.